Hi there, and welcome to the Berenstain Bears and how to get along with your fellow bears. You want to play a one cup or a two cup game? If you see your name on the typewriter, click on it. If you don't, just type in your name. You can either use your keyboard or your mouse to click on these letters. When you've got it right, press the OK button. level you want to play it. Level 1 is the easiest, level 3 is the most difficult, and level 2 is right in between. Don't worry about this too much. You can change your level during any of the games. Welcome to How to Get Along with Your Fellow Bear. We've got all sorts of interesting stories and games to play about brother and I getting along with our family and friends. You're going to see stories and learn about things like identifying people's emotions and sharing to get what you want. That might seem strange to share to get something you want, but if you listen to our stories closely, I'm sure you'll understand. You'll also see a story where we made cards for one of our friends, and then you'll get to make your own card. And then you can see how Brother and I had to team up and work together to get the job done. We didn't know a lot about getting along, but we learned, and we hope that you'll learn right along with us. Use your mouse to click on one of us so you can hear a story, play a game, and learn a lesson about getting along with other bears. Papa Bear has a Papa Bear has a great story where we learn about making cards for our friends and you'll get a chance to make some cards for your friends too. Papa Bear has a great story where we learn about Good for all occasions. Each one is brand new. Everyone will like greeting cards designed just by you. Brother and Sister Bear came home from school just the other day and told Mama and me that a friend of theirs was sick and hadn't been at school that day. The kids felt terrible about their friend being sick, so Mama suggested they make a get well card to send over and cheer up their friend. The cubs thought that was a great idea and they got right to work getting out all their supplies and setting up a craft table in the kitchen. They each worked on ideas for their cards and then chose the ideas they both liked the best to put on one card. Mama Bear and I tried to help where we could, but I must admit, those little bears knew what they were doing. Let's get together and make a great card. Here's where we'll make the card. I'll give you a description of what we're going to make. You use your mouse to select the item I described from the page, and it will appear on our card. When you think you've got the item I selected, click the OK button, and I'll let you know if you've got it right or not. If you have trouble reading some of the words, just hold the mouse over the item on the page, and I'll read you what the words say. Keep choosing the items I described for the card we're trying to make until we get all the pieces to make the card. Then I'll ask you to make another. Once you've made both cards, you'll be able to use the pieces to make any card you want and even print them out on your printer. Won't that be fun? Let's make some great greeting cards for our friends. Let's make an I'm sorry card. First, we'll need a title for the card. Our card should read I'm sorry. have the makings of a great RT. Great! Now we need a picture for our car. I think the picture of brother and sister looking sad would fit our card perfectly. You have the makings of a great RT. That picture looks great! Now we need a background. Let's use a dark background on our car. That card is perfect. Let's try another. Let's make a card for grandfather. 
First, we'll need a title for the card. Our card should read Grandfather. This card is going to look super great. Now we need a picture for our card. Let's use the picture of Grandpa. That'll be great. You have the makings of a great art. That picture looks great. Now we need a background. Let's use the plaid background for our car. Thanks for the help. We couldn't have done it without you. Now you can use my card creator to make any card you want. Just click on the buttons below the selection box to change what you're placing and then select what you want to put on the card from the selecting box. When you like the design you've made, just press the print button to print out your design. If you need help with the printer, make sure to ask your parents first. If the game is too hard or you need help, just click on my picture in the top corner of the screen. Then select a new level or press help to hear the instructions. Sometimes all it takes is a little something special to cheer someone up. Brother and Sister Bear learned that making their own greeting cards was a good way to do something special for their friends and a very special way to show how much they care. Great job! You've earned a special certificate for all your help so you can remember how helpful you were. If you want to print it out, just press the print button. When you're finished, press the done button. With Mama Bear's activity, we'll learn all about emotions and play a great sorting game. Break out the photo album, sit down, have some tea. We'll sort all the pictures by the emotions you see. The Cubs and I were looking through a box of old family photos the other day when a gust of wind blew in and scattered the pictures all over the living room. Pictures were scattered everywhere and got all mixed up. Since the pictures needed to be organized and put into photo albums, I decided we should make a game of it, and the Cubs quickly agreed. So we gathered the photographs, and the Cubs sorted all the photographs by the emotions they saw on the pictures. Some of the pictures were easy to sort by emotion, like the one picture with a whole family laughing so hard our sides ached. Other pictures were a little harder, but the Cubs worked hard at understanding the emotions they saw. I'm happy to say that our happy emotion pile was the biggest pile of them all. Let's get going on getting these pictures back into the albums. The middle of the screen is the album where I want you to put the pictures. Lying around the album on the floor are the pictures that blew out. At the top of each page is the name of the emotion I want you to sort the pictures into. Use your mouse to place the cursor over the name and I'll read the name to you. Click your mouse on a picture and you'll pick it up. Move it until it's on the right page and click the mouse again to place it on the page. Once you've placed all the pictures on the proper page, click the OK button and I'll let you know if you've got them placed on the right page. After you finish one page of pictures, I'll have another set to do. So let's get cracking and get this photo album back together.
Now it's your turn to help me sort through these pictures. You got them all. That's right. Now try another. Thanks for the help. We couldn't have done it without your help. Sister Bear and Brother Bear know that it helps to understand the emotions of other members of their family. And they know that the members of this family experience quite a range of emotions, sometimes captured by a camera. And with all their hard work, we now have a family photo album we'd surely be proud to show to all of our friends. Job. You sure helped out. Here's a certificate for your help. Sister Bear will help us learn about cooperation and how teamwork can make a job easier. Sister Bear will help us learn about cooperation and how teamwork can make a job easier. With a high-flying balloon, you can go for a ride or lift toys to a treehouse and put them inside. I have a brand new treehouse, but I was having trouble getting my supplies up into it when Mama came over and told me Brother Bear was having the same problem. I looked over at his treehouse and sure enough, he was struggling to get his supplies up his ladder, just like me. Mama suggested that we cooperate and that we both work together to get our supplies up the ladders and into the tree houses. We were just getting started hauling our supplies up our ladders when a balloon flew by and we both hit upon an easier way to get the job done. With a little testing, we discovered that we could use some rope and pulleys to bounce a balloon back and forth as it floated up. Then our supplies would float all by themselves right up where we could grab them. We hurried up and put our plan into action. Time to get these supplies up to the treehouse. A balloon is going to fly up and pick up the items to fly into our treehouse. Then it will start flying across the screen. It's your job to bounce it back and forth until it reaches the treehouse and we can get the item it's carrying. If only one cup is playing, then you'll control my target using the up and down arrows on the keyboard. And if two cups are playing, then cup one will control my target with the arrow keys. And cup two will control brother's target using the A and Z keys on the keyboard. Move the target up and down using your keys until the balloon hits it and bounces the other way. Keep going till it reaches the top. Then it will fly back down and pick up another item to bring up. Keep going until all the items are up in the treehouse and we'll have a great party. Let's get this balloon bouncing and get those supplies up to the tree houses. Way to go!
Not quite. Give that one another shot. Mm. You are very good at this. With a little bit of cooperation and a lot of teamwork, we got the job done faster than ever. And coming up with our balloon idea made the job even easier, easier than we ever imagined it would be. Our parties went off really well and everyone had a good time, thanks to teamwork. Way to go! Another lesson learned about getting along, and here's a certificate to show for it. I've got an activity about learning the value of trading. Recycle your old ones, make room for the new. To complete your toy sets, that's just what you'll do. Sister Bear and I like to collect toys. We try hard to collect complete sets of toys as real collectors. The other day I noticed we each had several toys from the same sets. And if we put our toys together, some of the sets could be almost complete. Sister Bear agreed with me, and we decided that we should cooperate and work together to make complete sets. If we got rid of some of our other toys, we could then get the toys we needed to complete our sets. And I knew just the place to do it, the local swap meet. I knew that we could trade in our old toys at the swap meet for the toys we needed. So after making our decisions, we gathered our toys and off to the swap meet we went. we're here with one of the vendors, you can see what I have in my wagon to trade and what they have in their booth to trade. Now I want to keep things that I have two of, like these space grizzlies. But I have these items here to trade, like this yo-yo. The vendor has some things that they want to keep and some things they want to trade. 
You can tell because they'll have several of the items they want to keep and only one of the items they want to trade away. Now, if I have something the trader wants, they'll be willing to trade with me. And if they have something I want, perfect. Just use your mouse to click on the objects you want to trade, and they'll move to the table. If it looks like a good trade, then press the OK button, and the vendor will decide if they want to do the trade. If they do, we'll trade items. If not, they'll let us know, and the items will go back to their original owners. If you don't want to do any trades with that vendor, just click on the map button, and we'll go back to the map of the swap meet, where you can click on another vendor to try there. Don't be frustrated if the vendors that want your items don't have what you're looking for. Maybe they'll have something that someone else wants, and you'll be able to trade a different trade later for what you want. If the game is too hard or you need help, just click on my picture in the top corner of the screen. Then select a new level or press help to hear the instructions. Sorry, maybe someone else would want one of those. Yes, I'll trade for that. That will be perfect for my collection. be perfect for my collect no I don't really need one of those I don't need Yes, I'll trade for That will be perfect for my collect. Sure, that looks like a good trade to me. Great job trading! We got all the sets I needed and helped some other people get what they wanted to. It was hard to decide which toys to give up, but thinking about what sets we really wanted to complete made it much easier. Working together, Sister Bear and I were able to complete sets that would have taken each of us a lot longer to put together. And now, some other collector will be able to enjoy our old toys that we traded for. Super helping! Here's your last certificate. You've learned all about what it takes to get along. Didn't we have?
have a good time? We learned all about what it takes to get along. We saw stories about sharing, teamwork, learning emotions, and even about showing how much you care. Those might seem like pretty silly things to learn, but they sure helped me to get along with my family and friends. I'm sure you learned right along with me, so you know how to get along too. Here's a special How to Get Along certificate signed by all of us. We had a lot to learn, and you sure did help us out. Thanks for the help.